Alright, so we've basically set up all of the game data. Now we're going to have to implement the parser, but I will take care of that myself with my own brain. Because, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to make sense of this basic code. But I'm assuming they're going to be able to say commands like go. Uh, let's see, can we find a... Okay, so he there's a list of verbs or something. Are you initializing your verbs and nouns? Oh, down there. Why are you putting the parser before the thing? Okay, well let's let's initialize the verbs and nouns. So here, I don't, still don't know what N I stands for. Const string um, valid verbs. Const string valid nouns. So this is going to be the these v dollars in dollars. So our verbs are going to be go, get, drop, inventory, examine, and look. Inventory isn't really a verb, but okay. <laughs> and then... Do, do, do. What is our nouns? Oh. Oh. Not even like a full... You can spell inventory, but you can't type north. Okay, well... Oh, okay, these are all just if statements in here, so... Technically, we might not need this right away. This is just their inputs. Okay, we don't actually need arrays for these. Um, but what I am gonna do, so we're gonna have to get their input. Okay, we'll just do this as line 92, void, well, how do we want to do this? Let's say get input and we'll return verb and noun. Perhaps? We're gonna get rid of this. Do -do -do. And we'll have string verb noun. I am going to do a bool done is false while not done. And then we can say um, get input, verb, and noun. I'm assuming that they're just going to enter two thingies together. So I can see the logic in here. Um, what I'm thinking of is I kind of like it bugs me to not be able to kind of write the program where I can test it out better. Like I know they had little tests where you could like type in a room number and it would display the number. I kind of want to like just do more, but uh, it's fine. So get input. Let's just uh, do that for now, and then we can split it up. So let me look up this stuff, because I don't have it all memorized. <laughs> Int index, or like space position is raw input dot find space verb is equal to raw input dot substring? St. We want the length. Is that in zero to the thing? I think that we'll have to test it, but I think that will get all of the first word, and then this will be space pause plus one, and then do I need to give the rest of the length? Get from live to the end. Okay, I don't think so. 
So we could test that out and just do verb, noun, yeah, did it. Parse to the string. <laughs> okay. So we got that. This is, uh, like, interpret the string, basically. Oh, is this like a separate routine for each command type? Okay, well, we'll do handle go command. If verb is not go, then, well, I'm not gonna do a jump. Then 2500. Is that what you. Wait, what? Not go to 2500? I'm just. Might just do handle command. <laughs> we'll fi we'll figure this out. So, if verb is go, then we'll have all this stuff. If noun is north, well, you know what? Let me grab a another string utility that I use a lot. We're just gonna do a two lower. Yes, and since we're working with uppercase strings in general. So we're just gonna make sure to convert it to uppercase so we don't have to deal with the different cases. Um, so up here we'll do this, and then also two upper, just in case we decide to type in lowercase. So that should be okay, uh, except it didn't like that. Oh, because it's declared down here. Wheel, we'll just put it at the top then. Now I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to do this stuff. Uh, I could just use a string and like some sort of keyword. We'll see once I get a little bit further. Um, like, uh, man, I don't know, we'll just... We could return a line number, but that's not gonna make for a very easy-to-read program. And it is- okay, it's setting a DI. What is DI? Like, intended direction, maybe? No, no, no. Okay, this is the array, the strings of directions, so maybe this is a DI. Uh, let's just say int, int direction intended is di maybe? So maybe this returns the intended direction? I don't know. I need to have more context before I uh, figure out what we're gonna do. So... Let's maybe have a none? Just in case? We'll see. I'm still figuring it out. Okay, let's change this up. Intended direction. Let's say none for now. Um, and we'll set these. If it's greater than zero and it's less than 128, then, then the current room is equal to map neighbors in this direction. So I'm gonna have to change this to a reference. Um, otherwise, we have to do special check 
let's say for special greater than 128 directions. So this would be line 30, <laughs> 2390. You can't go there. Go to 100. Maybe 100's back to the game loop or something. I feel like in main I will just do a check for the verb and then call like a the proper thing. So let's say if verb is go, we're gonna call handle go command with the map neighbors current room verb and noun. And really this can be void. We should also like have something to display. I'm not calling it yet. I guess I'm kind of preempting the program being built, but well we are going to put oops. Print room description. Room names current room print what you can see, object names, object tags, object in room, uh, and I probably need current room, oh, number of, of objects in current room, print directions, Map neighbors, directions, number of rooms, number of directions, current room. Since we're already kind of hard coding stuff, I could make those parameter lists a little lighter, but we'll leave it for now. Okay, so we are going to have no special returns. And over here. Okay, it doesn't like me changing a const string. What am I, what do I got? So if we ran this currently, then we get a seg fault. Cool, okay. Let's uh, double check our <laughs> arrays. And also, where is it giving a seg fault? During print room description. What is the value of, oh, I did not initialize current room. We should probably do that, uh, even though they didn't really give me a current room, but we'll just do that. Okay. Let's... I'm just gonna clean that up really quick because I don't like things being all shoved together. So that looks much nicer to me. 